The NBA has a lot of things that help drive up audience participation and viewership. But the idea of rivalries was one that really helped make things special. Because when you had players hating each other so bad they wanted to win over them at any cost, that meant intense games. But there were times when NBA players hated each other on their own teams as well. Allow us to show you some examples of both. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 6. Shaq and Kobe Let's start this off with easily one of the most iconic and sad of the bunch given recent events. The Lakers after the departure of Magic Johnson. Well, they weren't really the Lakers. Which isn't saying much in that they lost a Hall of Famer and an absolute legend of the game. But when Kobe Bryant came in, things looked to get better. But it wasn't enough. So the Lakers brought in Shaquille O'Neal to make an epic tag team like Magic and Cream or Wilt and Jerry before them that could win titles, which they did, splendidly in fact. They won three of the four titles and then seemed destined to do more together, but they were very wrong. Resentment boiled up in Kobe as Shaq was the focus on the team and not him. Shaq wasn't happy with how Kobe was treating him and thus he got traded to the Heat and won a ring in quick fashion with D-Wade. Kobe bit back though and won two more rings with the Lakers. Their feud was legendary until January 2020 when Kobe died, and Shaq was left destroyed because he knew he would never get to truly make up with the man he once called friend, brother, and teammate. Number 5. LeBron James and Cleveland This one needs no context. So hear me out. For the longest time, LeBron James was the savior of the Cleveland Cavaliers. He was their star player, star of the league, and was destined to win them a title, eventually. But after many years with him, he bowed out and went to the Miami Heat, where he did indeed win two rings alongside Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade, to which Cleveland and the Cavaliers hated LeBron for it. To the extent that when LeBron returned to Cleveland, they pelted him with objects, booed him loudly, and for a very long time, and the GM of the team said they would do everything in their power to win without him. They didn't. It wasn't even close. But eventually, LeBron did come back to Cleveland, and he did actually go and get them that ring he promised oh so long ago. But by doing that, he found himself with another problem. Number 4. LeBron James and Kyrie Irving Whether they want to admit it or not, NBA players have a lot of ego in them with only a few exceptions. And when you know you have the talent to lead a team to victory and yet are overshadowed by a more popular player, that's going to cause friction. In this case, that would be Kyrie Irving being drafted to the Cleveland Cavaliers during their goodbye LeBron period. Then when LeBron came back, he was the number two on the team, which Irving didn't appreciate. Even when they came together to win a title, which Irving most definitely helped out with, the friction was still there. He openly spoke about how he wanted to be the number one guy on the team, and thus the Cavaliers traded him to the Boston Celtics, where he annoyed everyone, and then went to the Nets two years later. Either way, Irving and LeBron could not function together, and that was a big reason why they only got one ring for Cleveland. Number 3. Scottie Pippen and Charles Barkley This is a lesser known feud, but it's one that needs to be said nonetheless. When Scottie Pippen was with the Bulls, he was the number two guy for Michael Jordan, and he was okay with that. What he wasn't okay with was getting paid very poorly despite his contributions to the team. So after the last dance, he went to the Houston Rockets, who bent over backwards to get him a good paying contract and put him on a team with Charles Barkley and Hakeem Olajuwon. All Hall of Fame players, all Hall of Fame players, and all ones who could have led the Rockets to their three title in five years if they could have worked together. Scotty was aiming to win a title without Michael, but Barkley seemed more interested in the money and thus wasn't playing at his top level. Hakeem did what he could, but it wasn't enough. Pippen was so mad at this that he left the team after one year, and when Barkley noted his disappointment, Pippen said he doesn't owe Charles Barkley anything. Number 2. The Lakers and the Celtics In the NBA, there are feuds between teams, but there is no feud grander than the Lakers and the Celtics. Boston and LA had been going at it since the original days of the NBA when both teams had their own legendary runs. But as the league grew and the 80s came with Larry Bird and Magic Johnson at the helm, things were going to get a lot more intense. What started out as a show of skill soon became a literal war. Hard fouls, scrappy basketball, and more filled a contest that went to three NBA Finals and a lot of chippy regular season games. When the Celtics and the Lakers met, you knew you were in for a showdown. 
one that continued on in the modern age when the Lakers and Celtics fought again and split their set. All told, the Celtics hold the NBA Finals lead in both overall wins and wins against the Lakers. Should they meet again in the Finals? You can expect even more hate and bitterness. Number 1. Michael Jordan and the Bad Boy Pistons The story of Michael Jordan and the Bulls is one of phases. Most people remember the 90s run where they won six titles, but that wasn't the start. Nor does it account for the massive hill they had to climb in order to make it to the next level. That hill was the Detroit Pistons, whom had the moniker the Bad Boys because of their physical and very defensive gameplay style. For multiple reasons, the Pistons went up against the Bulls in the playoffs, and for many of those years, the Pistons won, and they beat down Michael Jordan to help ensure those wins, even making the infamous Jordan rules to help make sure the Bulls couldn't beat them. Eventually, the Bulls did pull through, but the hate was what drove them to victory. Michael Jordan hated the Pistons and star Isaiah Thomas so much that it's widely believed that his influence led to Thomas not being on the 1992 Olympic Dream Team. Jordan denies it, of course, but hate can make you do a lot of things. There you go, a look at some pairs of NBA players who hated each other either across the court or on the same team. Which of these pairs did you find the most surprising or beautiful in their heated hatred of one another? Do you remember watching these matchups or clashes when it came time to play? What current NBA heated rivalries do you find the most compelling? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.